Hi, I'm Dr. Larson. Welcome to the video. We're talking about 10 TMJ symptoms. Everyone has heard of TMJ or knows someone who has a TMJ problem. And the symptoms can be quite self-explanatory, of course, because they can be pain up in here. But there might be a few that you maybe hadn't considered before. So I want to go over that uh, quick here as well. Now, before we get started, when someone says, I have TMJ, realistically, everyone has TMJ. They have two of them. TMJ means temporal mandibular joint. You have your temple bone, which is the orange one, the mandible here, and then of course the joint that is right there. So everyone has two. A more correct term would probably be something like TMJD, temporal mandibular joint disorder, or even TMD. But realistically, we understand what, what, what people are saying is that when someone says, I have TMJ, they're saying, I have a problem in that joint. So, symptoms, difficulty biting or chewing, kind of obvious, right? If you, if you have a problem in your joint and you can't move, you're going to have problems biting and chewing. Number two, clicking, popping, snapping. Again, fairly self-explanatory one as well. Number three, jaw pain. Now, this can also be a tooth problem. So sometimes it can refer the pain and you don't always know where it's coming from. It could be a bad root canal or a tooth that is dying, it could be a faulty crown, it could be a faulty filling, many different reasons of course, but jaw pain is one uh, symptom of having a TMJ problem. Four is headache, it can obviously cause headaches, oftentimes it causes headaches in the side, it can cause headaches in the back, um, it can cause headaches kind of all over the place, but headache is a symptom. Uh, number five, neck pain. Your TMJ has a lot of nerves that go to it. A lot of nerves that go to it and from it to the brain. And your brain is driven by sensory information coming in. So it can make sense of all that sensory information and then produce a motor output. So when you have dysfunction in a joint, your body does not work in compartments. I've said this a hundred times. It does not work in compartments. So it, it, it thrives on sensory information. Well, if you have incorrect sensory information coming from anywhere, shoulder, TMJ, ankle, your brain is getting different information. And we can easily check this by muscle testing in the office to see how the, how the body is actually functioning. So neck pain can be caused from a TMJ problem as well because it's disrupting how the balance of the neck muscles happens or, or what's you know, dysfunctioning there. Number six, aching face pain can be numerous causes, but just an aching face pain across here. Uh, seven, hearing loss. Hearing loss could be a potential TMJ symptom because your TMJ is right there, right? And your ear is right there. So those structures are very, very close together. Uh, ringing in ears on those same lines. Number uh, nine, loss of equilibrium. Because your equilibrium sensors, or one of them is your eyes, one of them is your feet and your proprioception, but the big one, is inside your inner ear and that's your vestibular system and it's right next to the TMJ so the disruption in that area can cause equilibrium issues as well and then number 10 uh, difficulty opening or closing the mouth kind of self-explanatory as well if you can't open your mouth wide and maybe it's stuck here that's it obviously considering uh, the disc is trapped in that TMJ there's other TMJ problems or some myofascial issues in the, in the different muscles of the TMJ for, a, for a, a, a different video, but difficulty opening and closing the mouth as well. Uh, DrLarson.com is my website. If you like the video, subscribe, like, you know, give me a thumbs up, whatever you do on here on YouTube. And I'll see you again on another video.